So, hey guys, this week we hit the Savannah Way and we are off to the Northern Territory. We stay at some free camp, tip camp. And That's a big ass crop. This is Savannah King. Enjoy the sunset with some beautiful wildlife and then a feel good time at the Quambie Pub. And an awesome free camp on a lagoon near the Northern Territory. So let's get started with a wet trip over the Canandra Ranges. I was trying to give you Andrew some Light. He said, Andrew said we went to the top and we stayed up there. We did not go down. And we are going down. Okay, so yay. So here we are at Mount Surprise. So we have just driven mm, about four hours to get here, 300 and something k's from Cairns and we are out the Mount Surprise Caravan Park. Lots of trees, turn you around, lots of trees, water, power, if you want it, we're on an unpowered site. How'd we go with brakes? Well, we won't know till tomorrow, but I've redone it. Yeah. The radio turned on. Oh, yeah. It was a lovely drive as a passenger. As it always is, as the passenger. <laughs> but as I said on the way, I've yet to experience that. Maybe. Maybe one day, Andrew. Look at that down there. That's beautiful, that little avenue. Look at all the trees, the shade and the birds. So we're at Mount Surprise, G'day Parks. There's like four campgrounds and caravan parks in this teeny weeny town with about 10 people that live here, I think. And they're all really like busy, but uh, this one's busy too, but I'd pre-booked it. Morning, Digsy. Morning. But Andrew's packing up. All set to go. Not quite. <laughs> Nearly. It's a beautiful morning here in Mount Surprise. Digger and I have been out for a walk. If you're into birds, you will really appreciate it. But this bower bird has made a nest over here under the tree. And apparently they collect all jewels when they make their nest. And it's so cute. Look at all these treasures that he's got for his nest. Duct tape, some little toy, lots of duct tape, some straws. There's a peg, peg over there, a blue peg, and lots of bottle tops. Look at his little nest, it's so cute. They often collect different coloured things, like sometimes they like all blue things, so they collect blue things for their nest. But um, this bird particularly likes shiny things like glass and clear bottle tops and is rejecting the pink objects because they're thrown out of the nest. Absolutely, like a because he doesn't like pink. <laughs> no, well quite often the boys, the males, collect the objects to impress the ladies. So off we go. We've got about four hours and we arrive at the lagoon. It's a beautiful drive with lots of hills, um, pretty dry, but the landscape's amazing. So we, here we are doing a little bit of sightseeing at Lake Belmore. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, you can't camp here though. So we thought we'd let Digsy have a little swim. It's lovely here. There's a picnic area, Barbie. Shelter from the hot sun. <laughs> That nice?
Oh, it's nice, Dixie. Yeah. No, it's nice. I'd swim in there if I had my swimmers on. Let's go. It's alright. Yeah, Come on. Digger loves water. Okay, stop over to. Here we are. Thank goodness. That was a long drive today. Wasn't it? Well, it felt like a long drive. Got a bit boring near the end. So this is Leichhardt Lagoon, no, it's at Leichhardt, which is near Normington, and it's called 12 Mole Creek. So I'm um, not sure what this one's like, but we'll go and have a look, see, and I think we'll stay here. So apparently we have lovely bird life at this camp, which would be nice. Looks like there's a few living in there. Sunset and sunrise was really nice and there was definitely an abundance of bird life there. So guys, for anybody that loves birds, this is the best place to come and stay. So it's on a big like lagoon and it's K's and K's and K's big. I'm not sure how big exactly. But um, there's lots of camping room, lots of trees for shade, and the bird life's amazing. So there's, oh, there's so many different varieties of birds. So if you're a bird lover, come and stay here. It's really good. So Digsy and I are just walking up to the gate. And we'll meet Andrew up the gate. Here he comes. Oh, we've got to walk faster, Digsy. He's catching up. Okay, so here we go. We're setting off now on to the next leg of the journey. Red dog. Come on. Off for our morning walk. Come on. He's walking for Andrew. Here comes Andrew. He's going to meet us up at the gate. So Digger and I got to have a good walk. All right. I love red dirt. Check out the red dirt. I love outback Queensland. It's such a cool place. <laughs> oh, we got some squeaky things happening there. Dizzy. Shut the gate. So here's a little sign. This is the gate when you come in. And make sure you have cash because there's definitely no Equos here. However, there is service. Um, and it cost us $10 each for the night, so 20 bucks, which was pretty cheap. Andrew just told me he needs to buy a new ball. Well, listen to it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty um, hopeless. So, up here, we are travelling left. However, we are popping into Normanton first to see Chris and then we'll head towards Cloncurry. So I'll turn it around. So you can either go left or right here. We're going to chuck a righty and just pop into Normanton for a quick look and see Chris. And then we'll head back left. And for you that don't know, Chris is a crocodile. So 20 minutes up the road and this is also the way to Corumba which is on the coast so it seems weird but the coast is only 78 k's away from here. Because I saw a 
sign that said out back of the sea. Burke Town, so lefty there to Burke Town. So here we are in Normanton. This is the main street of Normanton. Oh, I think it's the main street. Good big food works there and somewhere to get your fuel. open for Chris and apparently there's a big barramundi up here somewhere too we got oh here's a purple pub it's a bit early for a coldie at the pub though there it is a purple pub on the right Andrew mm -hmm. the purple pub Beautiful old building. Pity about the colour. I love the colour. What's with the colour? It's perfect. The Shire of Carpentaria. Must be the council office. And here is Chris. Just find somewhere to stop. People come to say good day to Chris. Okay, here's Chris. Chris is amazing, he's you mother. I can't believe you didn't want to turn right to come and see Chris Andrew. Look at him. <laughs> So Chris is the Savannah King, the biggest crocodile ever captured in the world. 8.6 metres, 28 foot in the Normanton River. So here we go, here's the history of Chris. The history of Chris, the Savannah King. The purple pub, the purple pub in Normanton. It's massive. Shot. Big Queenslander. Okay, so we are nearly at stopover three. So there's been a whole lot of nothing today. It's been a pretty Because it looks pretty full. 
And then to top it all off beautifully, we have a perfect roast of lamb veggies. Yeah. Whilst watching the perfect sunset. Oh, but yeah, the roast is looking good. We're having roast tonight. <clears throat> okay, day four, and we are off and heading. Pardon? What did you to the dog. Oh, um, we are heading south. So we are at the moment in Cloncurry getting fuel. And it's only $1.99 a litre, which is pretty good compared to yesterday's fuel. Um, and we're heading towards Mount Isa, and we haven't got a plan in place yet, so we're not sure where we're staying. But I shall show you when we get there. It's a beautiful sunny day. The weather's been really good, hasn't it, Baby Cakes? Yep. Sunny every day. Beautiful sunsets, nice sunrises. Last night we stayed at the Quamby pub, which was really good. That was only $10 a night and it was great. The pub's all renovated and it was really nice. We had a good time there. And we met the Feel Good family, which was exciting. They were there as well. I watched them on YouTube, so I was super excited when they pulled in. Um, had a little chat to them and they were really nice. Just as nice in real life as they are on their YouTube videos. And yeah, so we're going to pop around to the supermarket. Where are we? Cloncurry. Yeah. We're in Cloncurry. We'll drop into the supermarket in Cloncurry and then head off. So, um, yeah, we'll catch you when we get there. Sunset here in 
check this out for a camping spot for free look at all the vans I'll go around in a circle all the little vans all parked along this river it's just amazing birds everywhere quiet peaceful it goes all the way around it's going to be another look of sunset look at all this space so much space Andrew's over here cooking pizza with our van. Diggsy's had dinner, he's going on all it. Walk over here. So tomorrow we're off to Barclay Roadhouse, which I'm excited about. So that'll be first thing in the morning. That's about a three and a half hour drive, I believe. Here's Andrew. How's your pizza? Let's have a look. Pizza for tea tonight. Oh, yum. There's Andrew's pizza. Meat lovers. I just popped on that, whatever meat I could find. Mine's not as fancy as that. But it's cooking. Digsy's had his dinner. He's over here chilling out. Night like Digsy, he's tired, he's been for a big walk. Listen to the birds. I'm becoming a bird lover. Tony Field, you would love these camping spots, there's just birds everywhere. What have we got over here? I'm not sure if you can get a good look at them or not. I walk down here and try not to step on anything that's going to die. Right in the foot. So over there. It's a beautiful big white bird. There was a big eagle. Fine. So guys, that's it for tonight. And we'll catch you in the morning. Sunrise out the van window. Birds are waking up. guys that's a wrap for this week we'll catch you next week we're going to hit darwin we've got a few more great stopovers on the way so have a great week everyone